It's Saturday and I have stuff. Got uh, two envelopes, a big package right here. Let's go ahead and do that package first. I've got some good stuff in the envelopes here that I can tell right now too. But this package comes to me from a friend of mine, Craig Simpkins. He uh, helps me run the Baseball TTM Autographs group on Facebook. He mentioned me one day and said, hey, I was going through some stuff and have a bunch of uh, hockey cards I really don't need. A lot of, uh, said it was mostly OHL and QMJHL, so Junior League stuff, and I'm always interested in those. So, 200-count box right there, absolutely packed with them. Oh, there. Still more. There we go. Wow. Lots of stuff in here. A couple of baseball ones there on the side as well. Dodgers team card in there. I can get that one signed by somebody, I'm sure. Burt Campaneras. Cool. But yeah, I mean, uh, this is all the, looks like the 91-92 seventh inning sketch set. Looks like that. Right there. Hopefully you can see that clearly through my uh, kind of blurry camera. I need to wipe that down, I think, again. But yeah, uh, usually not a whole lot of big names in here, but once in a while you might find somebody that sneaks through. A couple guys that, you know, played in the NHL or high-level minor leagues, like a, let's see here, let's see if I come across any here. I'm always looking on the lookout for guys that were high penalty minute guys as well. Those are always fun to collect, but there we go. It's a name that hockey fans will recognize right there, Todd Bertuzzi of the uh, Guelph Storm. What else? I actually had that Bertuzzi card at one time, mailed it off and never saw it again. Good to get that one back again. What else? Darren Van Imp, he was a WHL one, so a little WHL, QMJHL, and OHL all in there, but it's a kind of minor league tough guy right there. Who else? Like I said, a lot of these guys are going to be names that have largely gone forgotten over the years, but yeah, you know, here's another NHL, Philip Boucher. I actually got a few cards signed by him over the years. But yeah, I'll go through all those a little bit later on, so I'm not uh, sitting here wasting all your time. Get down to uh, get down to what y'all came here for, and that is these two envelopes that I've got right here. First one, initials are DQ, and it comes from Phoenix, Arizona, and they even stuck an extra stamp right there on it. So, uh, show that again, cover up the address, but yeah. Two stamps on it. Feels fairly thick. Not sure if he may have put them into sleeves or something, or enclosed some extra stuff. I don't really know, but let's find out. And yeah, it's Darren Quint, and yeah, it looks like he put some extra... Wow, a bunch of extra ones in here. So, I'm going to show off the two extra ones he added in, because, I mean, he signed my regular cards that I sent, but he also put in two cards from Russia, it looks like here. That's really cool. I have never gotten anything like that added in before, so really happy to add those in. But yeah, wow. I mean, I was like watching Quint when he was playing for the Blue Jackets there the first couple of seasons and mentioned that in there. But yeah, I actually uh, played in Finland for a little bit, if I remember right, after uh, after his NHL career. Let's see here. Looks like these are both cards of him with uh, Traktor Shelyabinsk over in the Russian League. At the very least, that's what this one definitely says. Get that one a little closer. The Russian writing on the side. Darren Quint in uh, Cyrillic up there. And yeah, Traktor Shelyabinsk in there. English right below it. Same deal on the back there. Info there. And let's see here. On this one... Not sure what team he's playing for. Uh, let's see here. The last team he played for on his stat line here was uh, Shelyabinsk, at least. Let's see here. Not too good with reading the uh, Russian writing on here, but let's see. It says uh, it has his birth date, it has his height and weight, and looks like that might say. I'm not really sure, actually. So, yeah, I'm not even going to try to read that one. Bottom line there is. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not the. Uh, okay, I can, I can read some Cyrillic. Not a whole lot, though, and this thing that has a, looks like a lowercase u in English. I'm not sure exactly what letter that's supposed to be in Cyrillic here, so I'm not going to try to read that. But, yeah, at the very least, another Russian one. Really cool to get that one. So, wow, really nice success there from Darren Quint here to start out the month of August. And one more. 
This is one that I brought up a couple months ago because I had mailed it off and then people started getting back notes that he was charging to sign. And I'm thinking, well, maybe mine will come back. Maybe mine won't. It went two months almost now without uh, coming back. I think it's two months to the day since I sent it. Maybe a week short of that. But either way, the initials are RP. I think you might know who that is. We'll see if he signed. So he started signing again. He actually dropped his price from 30 down to 20 and started signing stuff that had been sent before a certain date. So, uh... Yeah, got the uh, got the note on there, and he's now dropped his rate down to twenty, of course, by now. So there you go. But on the positive side, he did sign the cards that I sent. Very happy to get those back, and especially the uh, Mississippi State one right there, the cracked ice parallel numbered to twenty three. So very happy to get those back. My Rafael Palmeros finally came through after about two months of waiting. So. Great day at the mailbox right there. A package of unsigned stuff and hockey mostly. Uh, my Rafael Palmeros and the Darren Quint successes. Great way to start the month of August. Hope it continues rolling on. Once again, make sure you're checking out sportscardforum.com. Find out all sorts of great info on there. TTM addresses, TTM advice, other collecting advice. Tell them the screen name of Censored sent you. It's a censor with two asterisks on each side of it there. Long story on how that came about. But yeah, go and check it out.